If you've been eagerly awaiting the next big breakthrough in the real estate landscape, then I've got news for you. 2024 holds the biggest opportunity that you do not want to miss. Hey, I'm Sean Bell and I'm a social media coach for the Wolfpack at eXp Realty. And I'm also the founder of the Realtors Blueprint, which helps realtors generate nonstop leads on autopilot through Facebook ads. Imagine a window opening to untapped opportunities that could propel your career to new heights. Well, buckle up because we're about to uncover the biggest opportunity that could reshape your real estate business. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll not only grasp the potential of this game-changing opportunity, but also be equipped with the tools to seize it for yourself. First of all, you need to understand the demographics. Over the past few years, a lot of markets across the nation, they've been booming. They've been going so fast, increasing in price. And guess what? Everybody and their dog became a realtor because they saw a huge opportunity and they thought, oh, realtors make so much money. I'm going to be a realtor and this is going to be the easiest thing ever. And I'm going to make a pile of cash. So they went out, got their real estate license. And guess what? They realized it is not as easy as they thought it was going to be. And a lot of them started to starve. Now, when interest rates started to go up, everybody panicked and they're like, oh my gosh, it's not as easy before. And the ones that weren't doing anything were like, oh my gosh, I got bills to pay. How am I going to do this? And they ended up leaving the industry and going and getting a full-time job. And then there was the others where they just panicked and didn't know what to do and also went and got a full-time job. So this has been happening for the past year where a lot of realtors are leaving the industry and going forward could be the same thing where a lot more are gonna leave it too. And that's where there's a huge opportunity that comes in. Social media also became very important in the last few years. Many years ago, somebody who I follow very much, Gary Vee, talked a lot about this and I always thought, it was quite the bold statement at the time. And he was talking to some realtors and he said, hey, if you do not get on social media and you do not learn how to use social media, your business is going to die. And I thought, holy man, like, especially when he was talking to people that have been in the industry so long, that's a bold statement. Yeah, I can tell you from experience because I talk to realtors every single day, I've talked to these people that have been in the business since the 90s and have killed it at real estate. And they told me in the last few years for the first time, their business has dipped quite a bit because their customers are going to other younger generations that might be on social media and they have more feel like they have a more personal connection with them and now they're saying all our old school methods that we used to do prospecting aren't working anymore and we're panicking Sean what the heck do we do therefore one of the thing is biggest things you do need to do is be on social media take it seriously and don't just think oh you know what this is one of those fads it's going to go away everything I did before is going to work the best and you know what if you're only in the business for a couple more years it might be okay but for you that you're in here for the long haul, you need to learn this stuff because a lot of people now, they're online all the time. Every time you look at somebody, they're on their phone. If there's a conversation with another person and the conversation stops, they pull up their phone and they start looking at their phone instead of talking to the person. Never in the history has there been an opportunity where you can get in front of this many people for free. And then you could even spend a tiny bit of money and get in front of more people with Facebook ads. Whereas years ago, you had to spend thousands of dollars a month on a billboard. No longer do you have to do that. But people are on their phone all the time. They're looking through social media and they're trying to find find other like-minded individuals and they want to be educated or entertained. So just sharing a meme or a quote isn't going to do it. You need to be the face behind your page because every great page has a face behind it. Therefore, you need to be front and center. You need to be the one providing this information. And if you start to do this and grow your audience, then you're gonna be okay. Now, this is where the opportunity comes in is with all these realtors leaving the industry, that means there's less competition. So now you've got more people leaving that aren't gonna be posting on social media, aren't gonna be running Facebook ads. And then also, cause I've been through it, I was a realtor for 18 years and I went through a heavy, heavy recessed market for eight years where not much was happening and the rest of the country was booming, yet I was fortunate I was still able to rank in the top 1% in the entire country. And I did that because social media. And what happened is when our market went down, a lot of realtors threw their hands up in the air, said, oh, this sucks. I'm just gonna sit around and wait until the market returns back to normal. And guess what? It did not return back to whatever the heck they thought normal was. And those that put in the time and effort and came up with different strategies and figured how to do things differently were the ones that survived and the ones that won. The ones that sat on their hands and said, I'm gonna wait, eventually left the business because they couldn't afford to stay in it anymore. So my point to you is no matter what stage you're at, if you can find different ways to innovate and be different and 
up your game and keep working. Keep making your contacts. Keep speaking to people. Do your social media. Get out front and center. If you have nothing to do, don't just sit around all day and do nothing. Get out there because it's the same thing. They say it's an 80-20 rule. I strongly believe in real estate. It's more of a 90-10. And that is 90% of the work out there is doing is being done by 10% of the realtors. Therefore, you need to be in that 10% and the 10%, they did not get there by being lucky. They did it by putting in the reps, the time, doing their social media, doing the lead generation, Whatever it is, you need to pick a strategy. You need to focus on it. For me, it's social media. I highly recommend it because not many are doing a good job at it. And if more are leaving the industry and there's no competition, there is a massive potential for you. So anytime there's a changing market and maybe things are going down now, I actually get excited. Years ago, I would get scared, but now I love it because nobody else is willing to make change. Nobody else is willing to do anything. And if I'm the one that's there and actually going to make the change and put in the time and effort, there is zero competition and I can wipe the floor clean of them. Now, another little strategy you can do is you can start running Facebook ads and you can start generating leads right away. Because again, a lot of realtors, they might not want you to be spending money right now. So you have less competition. So if you are wanting to do something like that, which is an amazing, amazing way for you to generate leads and you're going to do it so much cheaper than what you'd pay a lead generation company for and be in so much more control and they're your own leads. If you're wanting to do something like that, then I have a free guide for you. It is my five killer Facebook ads that generated me 268 leads in just seven days. If you want a copy of that, comment with free guide and I will send one your way. And that's it for today. Again, if, the, if you are in a changing market, do not work. Worry, don't be scared. This is a huge opportunity for you. I can see it happening in 2024 and take this as an opportunity and not a bump in the road. If you embrace it and you actually know that this is a huge opportunity for your real estate business, then you are going to dominate and succeed. So thank you for watching this video. If this was beneficial, make sure to give me a like, hit that subscribe button and check out future videos. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for being here today. Good luck in 2024 and take care.